Hi, in this document we have a project of two pages of text about uh, United States cities by population. We have the source here, we have some paragraph and we have a table. And we want to arrange everything to look much better. So, let's see. Let's arrange a little bit the text before. So let's go to styles. Let's create a new style for paragraph. Let's rename it my style. Oh, it's not a good solution for you, um, but for this project it's okay. Let's have a spacing of 0, 01 and 0, 02 below. Uh, 1.5 space between lines. Let's apply this style to see how it look. I don't like how it look. Let's change it a little bit. So let's change the language. We don't want to be this language. Let's change to none. We don't want uh, the text to be corrected automatically. So let's go to none. Apply. Now let's decrease over here 0, 0,1 and 0, 0,5. And let's change line spacing to 115. And the font is not okay. Let's choose another one. Loma. Okay, it's nice. Uh, I want justify, so let's change it. Let's go to alignment. I want justified. Okay, it's much better now. And I have uh, this table here. It's too much text, so let's remove a little bit. I want a project of just two pages. And I want the table to be on two pages uh, in, the, in the same time in order to learn how to arrange, arrange it. Let's remove some text. It's still too much. Let's remove this text. Okay, so I have a table below. I have a text below the table and above uh, the table we have. Let's remove it. Let's style the same with our style, my style. So everything is the same style. Now let's talk about this table. As you can see, it's not well ar arranged. It looks awful and we have to make everything to look much better. So let's select everything and one easy solution is to go into table, out of format and to choose one from here and OK. But maybe this is not what we want. What we can do, let's undo. We can change by hand. We can change everything by our hand. So let's see. Let's um, center. Let's center everything. Let's go here and I want also to center vertically everything. So we have here uh, center vertically. So now every, every text is in center by horizontally and vertically in the same time. And you can see here, uh, he uh, is not very nice range. So let's go to size, minimize column width. But also it is not okay because we have here too much space in first column and in another rows we don't have that space. So let's go to optimal column width. It's a little much better, but we have to make some manual arrangement. So here we have some space. Okay. Anyway, we have too many info on um, too many columns. 
so it's very hard to arrange uh, text like that on a page like this but anyway we can do how much we can do let's select everything let's change the uh, font size it's too small okay now it's a little bit uh, a little bit much better so what we can do more let's see We have these numbers, but we don't know what they represent. Okay, so please tell me what this number represents. We have to go on the previous page and to read here what it represents. So uh, another solution from the previous video we talk about is to move the column to any page we have. First, we want to create a heading. So let's change the background let's bold the text and now we have this heading we want that heading to be on every page we click inside our table we go here table properties and text flow and we want repeat heading okay we have only one row so we let it be here one so if i am moving to the page two I know now that this number represents uh, these things from heading. What we can do, uh, we can change the distance between um, lines and text. This is padding. Let's go here. Let's see another thing, a uh, table to be splitted between pages first. So in this case, I have a table on a single page. It's much easier to read. Okay, I have the text and the table is on another page. Let's give it a column in order to have smaller, a smaller number of columns. Now uh, we can learn much better how to arrange, how to use uh, another options. We select everything, we go to size, and let's see optimal column width. You can see how better the table is looking now, because we don't have too much text to arrange. But also you can see we have much more text here between um, lines and um, text so we can change to insert some borders and also to change the padding let's see first the borders okay i have a problem on the last line let's uh, apply again Yes, it seems it's a problem here. Uh, in fact, what we needed to do is to clear format uh, um, styles and after that to apply again um, what we want for this table. Okay, so now let's focus on padding. You can see it's not resolved but it's very easy. Uh, I have to select all the table and to go to clear um, all the fonts, all the formatting. Okay, now what we want to change it is to change uh, the padding. So the padding is the space between um, text and lines. So we have here checked synchronize in order to have the same amount of space between lines and text. So let's increase, let's press OK. So now you can see the table is looking much more better. It's easier to be read and uh, it's um, much nicer. Let's try to resolve the problem with borders, but it seems uh, it's not resolved. Anyway, you have seen uh, 
what I wanted to do. Let's try to resolve that. Anyway, let's center the table. Now the table is in the center of the page. If I change the size of the table, anyway, the table will be centered and will look beautiful. So you can see this project. Uh, the text is looking beautiful, the table is looking beautiful, and uh, it's very easy to read. If I uncheck that, you can see uh, also the table is looking good, even it is on two pages, but it is okay. And you can change from here, from the right part, anything you need, the fonts, alignment, and so on. Very easy. We can change in the table also to have Loma style, also for table, and we can decrease the size of the text. Uh, thanks for watching and um, please subscribe for more video. Thank you.